have with us today, Yasi Pressman. Hi, Yasi! Hi, Ate! Hi, everybody! Kasi si Yasi ay ipinanganak sa Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Tapos ang daddy niya is British, your mom is a Filipina. Yes. So, paano ang setup niyo nun? So, my mom used to be a domestic helper in Hong Kong. And then, my dad and her, nag-meet sila doon. Then they had me, then they got married, and then they had my sister. So I was there at the mga hanggang two years old. My dad used to have a really nice life there. He was there for mga 30 years. Tapos, when you say nice life, like privileged kayo, mayaman kayo? Siya. Do, mayaman siya. Okay. Oh, parang nag-ano siya, nag-business, nag-work lahat. Then nawala. Tapos, Ay. wrong business decisions, wrong business partners. Nagbago rin yung times, di ba? His businesses were yung mga pinakauna mga candy stores or yung mga heated curlers um, mm -hmm. for synthetic diamonds. And that was that era, oh. very long time ago. Oh. Then, yun, parang nawalan kami ng place to stay. Um, Sa Hong Kong yan? Mm -mm. Nag-ikot lang muna kami, pumunta kami ng States. Nakitala kami dun sa bahay ng friend ni dad, and then finally when we were when I was six, pumunta kami dito. That's how we that's how we came here. Kapag may magandang bata na nandito sa Pilipinas, nagiging artista agad. Wow, yung parang na discover agad. Nakakatao yung first ever time na nilapitan kami. So we were walking in. Green belt niya tayo. Kita mo nila, pinag-alang sila. <laughs> Kala nung parents ko, mag, mag nanakaw ng bata, as in, hinihila lang sila, mommy and daddy. Sabi niya, hey, hey, bring your children to ganito, ganyan. And then sila parang, bakit? Anong nangyayari dito? So yun pala, to audition. Huh. Eh, feeling mo, scam. Uh -huh. Feeling namin, scam dito to. Uh -huh. Pero, it it worked out. And I had my first commercial when I was six, and Isa had her first commercial when she was four. So, nakaroon kami ng reason to stay here of all of the places. So, yun. Ano yung experience na yun for you? Naalala mo pa? Oo, ate. Ganti yung camera. Tapos yung camera, since wala akong alam, zero. It was for um, an oral hygiene product. Yung camera, ginawa nilang baboy. Look into the pig's nose. Look into the pig's nose. Kasi hindi ko na kung sino kapiting yun. Tapos wala. Nag-enjoy nag lang kami. We were Pag having fun. Daming friends. Feeling ko parang field trip. Pinapasyal so, kami ni Daddy. Hindi mo pa alam na work yun yun nung time na yun? Siguro hindi ko pa talaga na-realize. I was mm -hmm. just... Like, I was very lucky na bakit yung picture ko nandito sa billboard. Sino ba ako, di ba? billboard ka na noon. Yes, at six years old. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, nagugulat lang ako. And where are we, di ba? Parang everything was so new. Hindi ka nagtatagalog nun, di ba? Nung una ka bumalik sa Pilipinas. Hindi. Sumali pa nga ako sa ano eh. Magandang tanghali bayan. Oh, ilang taong Tapos, ka nun? Mga six or seven din ate. Tapos pumasok ako all the way hanggang question and answer. Tapos pagka question and answer na, talo na ako kasi nung tinatranslate nila Kuya Bayani yung question kung ano-ano na yung tinatanong nila sa akin. <laughs> so six years old, na-discover ka na kagad sa commercials. Nagtuloy-tuloy ba yun? Nagtuloy-tuloy siya ate until the ugly duckling phase. Tawag nila ugly duckling face. Dahil? It shouldn't be called that. Bago ka mag-teen, and then... Awkward. Awkward age na nawawalan ka rin ng opportunity or casting. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, yun, medyo nagpahinga. Then, nag-aral lang. Tapos, mm -hmm. nung 14 ako, ate, dun na ako nag-full-time. Because I think I graduated 14 years old, high school, mm -hmm. turning 15. Then, nag-full-time work na ako nun. Sa TV? Yes. Sa so showbiz? Showbiz. Dancing muna. Tumos sa'yo yung nagsisimula ka? Struggling is hard as a dancer because I don't feel like dancers should always just be back up because dancing is an art and dancers work so hard. So usually when I was younger, dancers would always be dun sa likod na walang time to shine or spotlight. And it was like that for many, many years. Then I wanted to sing. Um, no daw. <laughs> Kasi... Gets ko naman, hindi na naman talaga ako totoong singer. We call that stage struggling years. Mm -hmm. Yung wala pang naniniwala sa atin. Yes. Yung tayo lang ang nagpupush na parang may pupuntaan ba daw, pero parang wala. Sana please, don't uh, give up. Uh -uh. Ate Diretsyo na, from school pa nung fourth year ko, I would go straight to taping. The service of taping from Tagaytay would bring me straight back to school. Doon ako sa... Sa sink, nag-shower, ganyan, nadala ko ng towel para diretso ako sa school para 
makapasok pa rin ako, hindi ko mapabayaan yung grades ko. Then I would go back to work naman kung dancing yon towards the weekend. And I would bring my books and I would read while rehearsing. Ano yung high school ka niyan? High school. 14. Alam ko yung feeling yung sobrang mong busy pero walang nakakaalam na busy ka. Oo. Kasi hindi ka naman napapanood sa TV. Ikaw lang. Ikaw alam mo lang busy ka, pagod ka, pero walang nakakaalam na artista ka. Oo. Sa school. Parang, ha? Bakit? Anong ginagawa mo? Saan mo dami napapanood? Diba? Ganun sila eh. I needed to make money for my family. I needed to secure funds na... I was the only one working because in our family, Ate. And then... You're a breadwinner, what age? Six. Oh! When did you come out? You? 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 At that time, she helped my mom in OFW work. She went back. Then, we kind of went our separate ways. Then, I just kept on working. Dad was so old now. What kept you going and pushing in your struggling years? I really wanted a better life for my family. <clears throat> oh, the better life that you wanted was. What's was, your definition of a better life during that time? I know, Ate. Siguro, we didn't have much. Pero, we didn't really feel like we were poor naman. Oh. Or anything. I love you, you're feeling. Yung, ano lang, gusto kong bumili na shoes. Or, I don't know. Hindi mo kaya bilhin yung time na yun. Then, more important, I had a younger sister, and my dad was old, so, you know, parang practically thinking, walang kikilos kung hindi ikaw. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So, when I almost quit, I said, I'll just go back to school. I don't think I can handle the industry. The rejection, the pain. The rejection, the pain, the judgment, the pressure. Society always having a say on how you look. Um, your last performance or kung sino ka or kung anong ginagawa mo sa buhay mo, I wasn't strong enough. So, sabi ko, I'll just go to school again and mag na lang I'll get a real job and I could provide for my family and bring them where I wanted to bring them. Nananakawan na kasi kami ate before. Nananakawan saan? Nang Ang gamit? Gamit sa car. Dahil? Doon sa kusakay na katira? Yeah, in our area. Then, Doon sa kusakay na katira na? Mm -mm. Then, dinodrawingan na ng kung ano na yung kotse with the stone. Dahil? It's the area. Just wanted to um, bring them... In a better neighborhood. Better neighborhood, safer place, and... <laughs> Nakakatawa when I would go to after school ate before, ang brand namin would be scramble or manga sa labas with bagong. It's my favorite. Pero sometimes, gusto ko bumili ng Zago or Starbucks. And then, sabi ko isang araw, kasi yung best friend ko, siya lagi may 100 plus na baon. Ako kasi 20 lang eh. So, Nag-artista ka na nun. Mm-mm, kasi... Tapos 20 lang ang baon mo. Mm -mm. O oh, kasi hindi malaki ang bayad nun. Mm-mm. Diba? Mm -mm. Magkano ka nag-start? <laughs> One, five. Pero Three days yun. ang pasok, gas, pagkain, Damit bibili ka pa, pa ng damit. <laughs> so wala kang pambayad ng makeup artist, hairspray, oh, yeah. kahit ano lahat. Yung 1-5 paluwal ka pa halos. Mm -hmm. Wala Tapos, matira. Oo, oh, oh, may tax ka pa. Tapos syempre, bibigyan mo rin yung management mo. Diba? May cut pa. 30%. 40% pa ako before. Aray ko. So, todong-todo ng... Todong sagad na sagad na parang nagkatrabaho sa wala. So, sabi ko talaga ate, isang araw pupunta ako sa Starbucks at di nila tatanungin ko ano yung pangalan ko. Yung talaga yung... Sabi ko, one day, gusto ko kahit isang tao lang. Isang tao, pagdating ko doon, yung gusto ko makukuha ko, tapos di nila tatanungin sa akin yung name ko. Kasi for who? Ako nakarelate ako sa'yo kasi ang dream ko naman dati, tawagin yung pangalan ko ng cameraman. Really? Oo, sa set. Kasi laging tawag sa akin. Yung babae naka-blue, atras. Yun, ako naman, ang, ikaw ang dream mo, matawag sa Starbucks ang pangalan mo. Ako, ang dream ko lang noon, nung 90s. Sana sabihin yung cameraman, Tin or Tony atras. Laging, yung babae naka-red, yung babae naka-blue, yung babae naka-blue. Nasa likod, yun, yun, yun. 
Doon ka, uh, dito ka. ka ina, ina, ina. Doon ka. Maharang ka sa bida. Parang gano'n. Huwag mo sa pawangan. Huwag mo sa pawangan. Nag-extra pa ako sa commercial ni Kim at ni Gerald before. Oh. Grabe, sobrang saya-saya ko noon. 40 ang extra nila. Isa ako doon and yun ang proudest moment ko. Sabi ko, yes, nandun ako sa likod. <laughs> Malapit-lapit sa camera. Nandun ako sa likod. Ayun know, yung maliit ako yun. Ako yun na. Ayun know, yung know, proud moment pag nagsisimula ka eh. Yes. Grabe yung struggling year. Ang nangyari, tinawag ako ni Boss Vic. Gagawa daw ng diary ng pangit. Kay Nadine and kay James. Tapos, nagtuloy-tuloy lang. Pambansang best friend. Yes. Um, and I was having so much fun. Because ang daming shows and I've never been around na pumunta kami kung saan sa probinsya. Tapos people know us and then papa picture kinyan sa bay sa bay kami nun eh. So it was all super overwhelming for us and new, very very new. Ano dream mo nun? Nagsisimula ka? Di ko pa alam yung path. Di ko nakikita kung saan ako papunta. Kasi at that time na ate. 1718, I found out my dad had cancer. 1718. Mm -hmm. Struggling years mo pa rin yun. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to shift, quit and work. Gusto mo na ng stable job. Stable job. Then they gave us ano, a couple months with him. Mm. And I remember that ate, ganito talaga ako sa hospital. <laughs> Walling kami ng kapatid ko. Nasa floor ako, umiiyak sa Marikina. And yon, that was another wake-up call for me. But I was able to keep him alive for ten more years. Ten years. Well, nine, nine more years. Nine years. So you know, nagi motivation. Ko ba tinuloy tuloy mo? Yes. And then eventually, di ba? Right after ng diary ng pangit, sabi ko tuloy tuloy yung work. Mm-mm. Kailan mo masasabi yung time na okay? Kaya pa paano? Alam pa sa mga kanya yung struggling. Medyo hindi na struggling. I think it was getting better na nung diary. Pero the real moment talaga ate was after Camp Sui, PBB, then Provenciano. Nagulat ako nung, nung tumawag sa akin si Boss Veronique, my manager, na Provenciano daw was calling for me and I thought it was an addition or small role lang. Tapos, uh, lead daw. Kala ko joke lang talaga, mm. hindi talaga ako makapaniwala. Kasi Bakit? hindi ka pa ba nagli-lead nun? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. And it was such a big show. Mm -hmm. Nasa dinami-dami nang pwede nilang piliin. Bakit ako? Mm -hmm. um, so, ano naramdaman mo? A lot of pressure. Honestly, it was an unbelievable moment. And it was more than just an honor, ate. Pag nakita mo kasi yung line-up ng mga taong katrabaho, yes. kung gano sa big stars. Mm -hmm. Like, ano, I felt so small. Pero pagdating mo don, they won't make you feel like that. They will welcome kanila na parang pamilya, and then they'll work with you, never against you. Na tulungan tayo dito. Paglahat tayo mga sabay sabay. So kahit sino, Tito Shamin, Tito Joel, everybody, Tita Susan, si Coco, lahat ng directors, everybody helped me, and. I just felt so, so lucky. Kasi nung nag-work ako noon, hindi ko na feel masyado yung ginagawa ko. Because I never bought naman anything for myself. Wala rin tayong magbakasyon. Everything went straight to my dad. And I was just building a house for us. Doon ko lang nararamdaman sa bahay na meron ng napupundar din. Kasi seven days a week ang work ko for five years straight na nung pandemic lang na pahinga. Mm. So, doon ko lang actually nakita yung parang, ay, dito pala, pala napunda. Punta. Pero, nakita ko yung kid lagi. Mm -hmm. That was the times. So, What's the best advice your father gave you? Keep trying, shoot for the stars, baby, because if you fall, I'll be there to catch you. Anong best memory mo with your dad? Every single hug, ate. Every, pag-uwe, every little win. He's so so proud, and he would just look at me and smile, and smile meant so much. Ngaling no, kasi when he was diagnosed, he was only given months to live, but God allowed you 
to be with him for another nine years. Mm-hmm. Para ma-witness niyo yung mga milestones in your life. How do you live with the pain of of losing your best friend? I don't feel like he's gone. It's it's weird. Parang ano, to like the other day I was kind of crying and then I wasn't feeling super motivated. Tapos may butterfly lagi na tumataan. Naniniwala kasi ako dun eh. Then the butterfly was watching me outside my house and just looking at me lang. Then bumagsak siya sa toes ko. Eh, weird yung toes ko. Same kami ni dad. Tapos, pinaus ako. Yung butterfly lagi ko kinakausap pati. Nahabol ko nga minsan. Oh. <laughs> so, ano sinasabi mo sa butterfly? Ano, thank you. Tsaka, thanks for coming and making me feel like you're there. Laging meron. So, hindi ko naiisip ate na gone na. Pag New Year nga, minsan natatext ko pa eh. Hindi nga. Mm-mm. Yung number niya? Mm-mm. Binabati mo siya? Mm-mm. Or pag pauwi ako galing sa trip. On the way home. So, mas naging stronger yung relationship niyo ng kapatid mo? Yes. Kasi naging kayo na lang dalawa eh. Mm-mm. I'm so grateful for ate because she took care of dad talaga nung busy ako. Siya mm-hmm. yung nagalaga. And it was harder kasi Parang nag-skin cancer muna, then nag-prostate, tapos nag-blood cancer pa. So yung gamot was canceling out each other, sumusungit. And then Isa was the one talaga na sat by him, mm. nag-alaga rin. Kamusta yung relationship niyo ng kapatid mo? She, she's very, very strong na now. She used to be a little more fragile before. When you say fragile, in what way? We had a very, uh, very dark stage of our family, and so I think she got very damaged there, and she got traumatized. I think both of us then. The dark face na yun in your family. When you say dark, it means ba yung separation ng yeah. ng parents mm. mo. Mm. Yeah. Hindi siya naging open na tao. Naging takot siya magtrust. Tapos. Just, I'd rather let her tell the whole story. Eh. Parang Pero, nag-shut down. Parang nag-shut down siya. Okay. So, yun yung parang naging concern ko lang din before. And I wanted her to come out. And pinipilit ko siya lumabas. And see your friends or go out. Ganyan, makipaghalubilo ka. And I'm happy na now na she's bloomed and blossomed into such a beautiful woman. So, what are you looking for in your life right now? Siguro just a nice future for my family, personally na. Now that's something new that I open myself up to. Mm-hmm. Dati takot ako eh. Takot akong mag-trust, takot akong magkaroon ng sariling pamilya or anything. So now, nakita ko na na okay yung kapatid ko. May work na ulit. Nabigay ko na yung bahay for my family. Now I'm starting to think of myself. Settling down, ganun? In the future. Oh, ah, please. yun na yan. Nasa ano ka na, stage na in your ano life. Ano ko parang tumatanda na yata ako. But 20s ka pa naman 27. eh. 27. Oh, oh, late late 20s. Pero yan nga ang stage na you're thinking of settling down, finding the right partner. Mm-mm. I'm not scared anymore. Nakakatakot kasi from a broken family eh. So are you in love right now? I am super happy. Ah! Logo, parang, ano, kapag good, Wait, ano na super happy na, na, parang yun na yun. <laughs> <laughs> parang yun na yun. You're super happy right now. Just super happy at the time. Your heart is, what is the state of your heart? Ah, uh, whole. It's whole. <laughs> Nothing missing. It's happy. Yeah. Happy. Someone's taking care of your heart. Well, I always take care of my heart, but I need to support with the assistance of the caring. Oh, wow! Oh, my caregiver! 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 My What I really want to do now, kung saan ako nagpo-focus is when movies or series come along, that's my heart. 
buhos ko yan lahat. Iwan ko dyan. And then, I like hosting na rin now, Gage. I was actually super excited to talk to you so I can learn mm. so much from you. Mm. And siguro really leave an impact on the Filipinos also. Because siguro, nung naisip ko, nung pandemic din lalo, we're all working and we leave pieces of us through films, through um, when we make them laugh or cry. But I also want to make a bigger impact by building something for their mental health. And if I'm able to save at least one person, that's going to be my legacy.